How do we ensure we're meeting demand? Well, that's a great, that's a good question. We want more demand. Sometimes you can't meet customer demand. Sometimes it's a situation where an analogy we, we like to make is uh, the Bay Bridge at rush hour. There's only so much that you can do. If you can fit 50 pizzas somewhere and there's demand for 100, you're not meeting the demand. All you can do is make sure that those 50 that you do have come out the best product possible and then the people that are, were unable to meet the demand for it's just a matter of communicating with them you know why we can't meet the demand and what we can do for them. We've not had what I call an Oprah moment where someone said hey you know someone wrote about our bag and all of a sudden we got a thousand orders the next day you know like no singular event has ever caused a major spike in our production. Now we have run some promotions with like Living Social there we'll get a spike of maybe a thousand or two thousand bags and that is a time when we'll publish on our website hey the lead time is not two weeks right now it's three weeks bear with us you know we got a lot of orders to get through we're making everybody's bag custom we do things to try to ease the pain somewhat you know we'll let people once they're on the seating list we, and we know when they're going to be sat we'll let them get their pizza order in and we'll time it to come out just after they're sat people that get it get it and it works really well but some people, they're just used to other things, so it's hard, to, it's hard to make everybody happy. We manage our supply and demand so that, you know, at the end of the month, if someone comes in and says, I need 500 bags, but I need them in a week, we might say, you know what, we can't do that job. The other thing is, at the end of the day, you know, we can only make so many bags, and so we're not, like, trying to constantly turn up the dial to make more and more bags, like, you know, Lucille Ball in the chocolate factory where it runs out of control and she's got to eat all the chocolates so that they don't fall on the floor. You know, at some point, it's just, it's as fast as it needs to be. And so um, we want this to be an enjoyable process. We want it to be efficient because that's important from a business standpoint, but we also want people to enjoy working here. Generally speaking, um, we just have to know kind of where the sweet spot is in our business and not take on jobs that we can't do.